At the opening ceremony of the 22nd Regional Symposium on Violence as a Public Health Issue, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago Dr. Keith Rowley announced that the CARICOM arrest warrant bill soon will be implemented. The legislation is expected to boost capabilities to adequately address transnational crimes, Dr. Rowley explained. Our little criminal punks must now know that every CARICOM territory the law applies to them equally with respect, well, as soon as we implement the laws, that with respect to warrants for their restraint. There are also mentions of the Advanced Passenger Information and Record Bill, the Caribbean Gang Database, and the Regional Integrated Ballistic Information Network. Chairman of CARICOM and Prime Minister of Grenada, Deacon Mitchell, in his address posted that there must be a full-pronged approach towards crime and violence in the region. The issues related to the high levels of violence and crime experience in all countries into the realm of a public health approach signals a strong intent by us as leaders to decisively and collectively treat with this challenge that threatens the development of our community and that threatens the safety of our citizens. The CARICOM chairman posted that citizens across the Caribbean must be able to feel safe on the human rights law, which is revered and justice is practicable. It is this is aspiration of the community that every citizen is secure and has the opportunity to realize his or her potential with guaranteed human rights and social justice. Prime Minister Mitchell alluded to the conventional approach to criminal justice system, which focuses on retribution, imprisonment, rehabilitation and restoration with the goal of restoring harmony and reintegrating people into society. Antonio Day reporting for the HGP Nightly News.